Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup from drugstore, Walmart, various websites. I'll test on my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm reviewing my March Poxy Charm subscription box and also an item from a previous box because I skipped a month and it's an Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette. And we're going to be doing this look and I'll tell you about all the other products I got, the prices, the value, all tea and all shade. So if you guys are interested then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. So do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box as well as my Patreon group. Like, comment and subscribe. So let's get right into this review. So I got the box uh, a while ago, but uh, this kind of went on the back burner as usual, like things do, and I decided to review it because there's some really, really good stuff in here. Uh, not a lot of good stuff, but the stuff that I got I really, really like, so I'm going to tell you what's the tea. The First of all, the value of this I just calculated $226, which of course pays off for the box of plenty. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Celestial Black Diamond Contour Gel is 111 Skin brand, never heard of it before. Uh, like a lot of items that come in the boxy charm, a lot of the brands are not very well known, but maybe I'm just so unaware, so I don't know. Anyway, so this thing goes for $140. I was like, Oh my god, that's crazy. So it says this counter gel is a peptide-packed treatment gel specifically developed to focus on deep set lines and wrinkles due to a loss of elasticity around the eyes and lips. So I've been using this for a few days, so I cannot really tell you if it's working or not, but uh, according to reviews that I looked, people say it works like works so I can't wait I've been using like on my uh, lash lines here and um, what are you called laugh lines or smile I think the laugh lines that smile lines I've been using it here and uh, yeah it's pretty much under eyes so we shall see it has a little bit of applicator like this it just clear gel I'm not gonna pump it for you and just it's very simple so that's a great value actually so the next thing I got I'm gonna go in the water I showed this in the video. So the next thing I got is the lip oil, hydrating lip oil. So I never used anything like this, but uh, sometimes you need lip oil, I guess. So I'm gonna try it. So this is Cap Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Oil. The value is twenty dollars. It says say goodbye to dry and thirsty and hello to juicy hydrating lips. Your lips will love this non-sticky instant burst of hydration that comes in six different tints. Swipe the formula on for comfortable juicy lips all day long. Well it's very comfortable. I use this in the video. You'll see it's very very uh, shiny and yeah but the thing is I saw in mineral oil and ingredients juicy melon and I'm wondering how good this is for you. I threw away the box already, but I remember when I was looking at the box and ingredients, there was something like mineral oil there, but I don't know. Maybe it's a cosmetic grade mineral oil, but usually I'm very cautious about those kind of things, so I'm gonna keep on using it. We'll see what happens. So far, I felt hydrated, so I liked it. Uh, the next item I used in my video was the actual palette that is not in this box. This is from February and this is Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette and this palette is $38.99 value. I didn't uh, review the previous box, I don't remember. I think it's just like happened that I just didn't. But the palette is really pretty. I thought I was gonna like declutter it or something and now I created this look that I'm really into. I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm going to play next a little uh, sped up tutorial with the voiceover and you're going to see how I used it. But it's a, it is really pretty. Let me zoom in. So this is the eye look. It's really nice. The shimmers and metallics are real metallic. The mattes are very, very good. I, that's not my first Ace Beauty palette. 
and this is really really nice it's beautiful I'll show you shimmers in a second I'm not gonna swatch the whole palette but you'll see you see shimmers are really really nice and I'll show you the mattes just a few mattes here is purple here is pink and here is the orange just the bottom row so you'll see so that's the mattes I mean swatches never tr tell the true story you can only see it from the look so let me play you a little bit of clip of me applying it and we'll continue with the review so I'm starting with the ABH primer and the Spectrum small brush in a deep purple shade right here in the outer corner and in the crease very pigmented very bright I have no complaints about this I'm blending with a bigger model brush from BoxyCharm with a beautiful beautiful fuchsia this is the shade that makes me happy it blends beautifully it's amazing the whole palette blends so easy as you can see and next I'm going with this coral shade to blend it out further and again all those tones are so close together and they blend so well and another brush to just blend out into the eyebrow I'm taking another spectrum brush a smaller and we go into the crease in close to inner corner it's a little deeper and a little bit warmer shade and I'm going to warmer shades now orange and yellow I was trying to use as many shades as possible so this creates this kind of a sunset look and getting some more yellow to hand the orange out so going back to Pilou's base after I cleaned up with my cell water cutting a uh, crease and I'm gonna use all of the shimmers there are only three shimmers in this palette so I decided to try all of them and starting with the gold then coral shade and then the deeper shade uh, it creates a real nice blend you can use all of the shades together they work out so well and blending them out with the mattes the same coral matte and the pink matte and the deep purple matte after that and it creates uh, the blend with the mattes. Uh, for the waterline, I use LA Girl Yellow Liner, and the green shadow goes on a low lash line. So, as you can see from the tutorial, my final look, I'm very impressed by it. It's beautiful. Uh, like the other palette that I tried uh, before in my other box, Charm box. Uh, the second palette that, that I got from Boxy Charm as well, that one's excellent. So yeah, I like it, it's very nice. And the next item is, so that's from previous box. Let's go back to this box. So this box, the next item I tried was mascara. And that's Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This creamy mousse formula was developed with a special blend of whipped melting boxes that deliver immediate full load of extreme volume without a heavy feel. Innovative polymers keep lashes flexible while lifting, lengthening, and locking into 24 hours of smudge proof, flake resistant curl. Well, so far, my first try, I mean, it's just the average mascara, to be honest. And you'll see my face when I apply it. I'm gonna clip like a play clip here it smells awful I don't know what that is mascaras usually smell the same but this one smells rotten and it's kind of like it's thick already I wonder how many years it's sat in boxy charm warehouse <laughs> maybe it's old because it's very thick all well, some formulas are thick like this but I don't like the applicator like this look at the size of this brush it's huge you can take my eye out it looks like a murder weapon no i don't know i just don't like the applicator i like the brush it's a little smaller i mean this is way too big and this big thick chunky edge like it can get into like your eyeshadow i don't know i'm not into it i'm not too hot about the brand for various reasons anyway so maybe i am a little bit of bias but yeah so this mascara value is 26 dollars and i don't think i'll be using it it was just like one and done maybe I'll give it another try since I got it for free anyway for free I paid for it for the box <laughs> anyway so the next thing I used was a Maven Beauty Maven Rose water setting spray and it says set your intentions and your makeup with this aura lifting antioxidant packed rose water setting spray mist all over finished look 
to lock it down and prevents munching for up to 16 hours. Well, I'm not sure how well it works. I mean, it, it feels very sad, I don't know. It felt hydrating when I sprayed it. It looks like this. I don't know why they named it rose water. I was expecting like a rose smell. You know, that smell like a rose oil. You know, if you ever smell that, I kind of, I like rose. I have nothing against rose oil, but the smell of this, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased or it's just my nose, but I'll let my husband show me what he thinks. Smell it. I need proof, a receipt on the video. Oh, it smells weird. Okay, he says smells weird. I say it smells like rotten garbage. That's my favorite comparison. Or rotten vegetables. That's another my favorite comparison. For some reason, it smells like rot. Like it throws something into trash, like uh, pieces of chicken or uh, vegetables, and it sits there and rots. And you open the garbage. That's what it feels like. <laughs> and that was my friends. Shade. <laughs> but it's the tea. Yeah, the smell is awful. Maybe it works, but for my nose, it does not work. But again, there are no two opinions that are the same. So for somebody, it might just smell fine. So that's the value. I think I said the value. That was $22 for this. So yeah. Uh, and the last item I have not even opened. It, it's still in the box. I'm not even going to open it because it's useless. It's a billion dollar brows, clear brow gel, and the value is $18. Uh, I've heard of this, uh, I've heard of this brand. I don't know why, but I've heard of it. Flake-free formula sets in seconds with a gentle hold to keep your eyebrows in place and on point. So that's going to be for future giveaway on my channel. I have a few items I already collected to give away. And whenever a giveaway comes up, I have a few things. So I can't use it because if you don't know me, if you're watching this for the first time, I have uh, thyroid issues. My eyebrow house is very, very sparse. And I have almost no hair. I have old eyebrow tattoo. And I pretty much just draw my eyebrows on. So anything like gels or pom pomades work. But gels and eyebrow mascaras, it's useless. I mean, what am I going to do with it? So yeah, that's going to be for the giveaway. So that was the box. It comes with this pretty card for March. I didn't even do any St. Patrick's uh, Day looks. I was just busy doing something else. I think I was doing a drag look on a day. <laughs> and as you, if you might not know, I do drag series on my channel every Friday. It's called Friday Side Drag, where I do eliminated queen looks from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. And if you're into it or just want to see interesting makeup, not your usual everyday makeup, then come on Friday and check it out. But yeah, this is it. That's the end of this uh, review. So what I think about this item is that I think it's a good value. I'm not a lip person, but I like the feel of this. I'm going to keep using it. And I do like uh, the contour gel. But I I'm not going to use the mascara and the rose water. I was excited about this item. So that's why I wanted to review this box on camera. But this came out kind of one case. So I might try mascara again. But yeah. So overall, I still like boxy charm because for like just that, just the item like this is worth it because it's hundred forty dollars, and I'm all about skincare, so I wouldn't buy it myself. So I'm really happy with this. And that ASB Day palette from a previous box is excellent. So let me know what you got in your uh, March February boxes. Did you get this palette? I think it's beautiful. I'll use it again and again. Really nice. So let me know what you think as usual. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. Please like this video and give this big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below. So check out my Patreon group. I have a Patreon group and we have Telegram chat. My patrons pick my looks for my life. So if you guys are interested, check it out. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.